O come, O come, Emmanuel. Bishop John here. Now we are in the season of Advent. Allow me to walk you through four brief reflections on our Sunday readings during this Advent season, utilizing some famous works of art and tying them into our Sunday scripture. I hope these brief moments with art and scripture will help you to make the most of this Advent season leading up to Christmas. Reflecting on the first reading for this first Sunday of Advent, my mind went directly to this 17th century fresco on stucco depicting the monogram of Jesus, I-H-S, meaning Jesus, Savior of humankind, who is celebrated by the society which bears his name, the Jesuits, or the Society of Jesus. As you enter this amazing church of Jesu, or the Church of Jesus, in Rome, you are invited to look up and there you will discover a masterpiece by Giovanni Battista Gaudi, dating back to the 17th century, called Triumph of the Name of Jesus, Baudista Gaudi not only honors the Jesuits with their famous IHS monogram, but shows us a heaven that has been rent, that is split, enabling us to get a glimpse of Christ who has come, who is with us in word and sacrament, and who will come again in glory. Our first reading for this first Sunday of Advent is a plea a real begging by the prophet Isaiah for the Lord to break open the heavens and show his glory to a people in need of comfort. Isaiah cries, return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. Thankfully, Isaiah's prayers are answered and the Lord did come breaking the seal that separated heaven from earth. He continues to break that seal as we break open the word of God each and every Sunday, and as we celebrate his presence in the Eucharist and in other sacraments. And his kingdom will continue to break into this world until he is fully revealed at his second coming. Well, Giovanni Battista Gaudi employed a certain trompe l'ouïe, that is a trick of the eye technique in this ceiling fresco of the triumph of the nature of Jesus. It's as if the ceiling of the church of Jesus is open to the sky above and the angels and the saints gazing upward to the heavens are sort of three dimensional. However, Using the technique of point perspective and value and form and color, Giovanni Gaudi tricks the eye of the viewer in believing that the paintings are three-dimensional figurines. Thankfully, as people of faith, we know that our Lord is not offering us any tricks of the eye, the heart, or the mind, as he promises that he will return to us in glory. Christ has come. He is with us in word and sacrament, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Our cry is the same cry of Isaiah, the prophet, come, Lord Jesus, come.